Hey guys, Thoughtful here. Hope you all are having an amazing day. Uh, one question I get asked very frequently on my most successful video, uh, which is how to get a virus off your phone, the actual removal of the malware, is how do I know my phone is actually infected with malware? Uh, so I'm here today to actually answer this question in five simple and easy to follow steps. This video is meant especially for Android users, but if you are an iPhone user and you have questions about this video, you've, cl you've clicked on this video, make sure to leave me a comment down in the description and I should be able to find a way to help you. Um, the, uh, the, the reason I made this uh, specifically for Android is that I am on an Android um, and some of the methods that I use uh, directly correspond to the Android uh, operating system and UI. Uh, so let's get right into the video. So step one, you want to be looking for signs actively. These could include pop-ups, messages, random messages you're getting, uh, applications opening randomly, or suspicious activity going on in your accounts. This could be in your Google, this could be in any of your music apps, this could be on your Amazon account. It could really be anywhere. So you want to be checking for any suspicious activity that's making your phone out of the blue. This could be a key sign that your phone actually has malware. Now, one thing to be very wary about when checking for these different pop-ups and messages and such is the actual um, scheme they try to get you into, uh, which is downloading more malware onto your already infected phone. Uh, now, one pop-up that I see people falling for a lot is this Google pop-up, which I'll pull a picture up out of right now. Uh, and it says if you don't download this antivirus uh, application, which is actually just a, uh, just another... Uh, scam to try to get you download more malware. Uh, if you don't download this in X amount of minutes, your phone will be unusable uh, or your information will be given to somebody, but never fall for these pop-ups. Always be using a uh, secure, if you are using uh, anti-malware or antivirus software, make sure you're using uh, trusted ones such as Malwarebytes, which I really like. I'll probably make a video on that uh, Malware, 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 sorry, malware bytes uh, eventually. Uh, but if you are going to use one, make sure you're not falling for these uh, traps that they're trying to lay for you, uh, and make sure that you're using a trusted uh, anti-malware or antivirus. So step two: identify if you've uh, visited any risky websites lately. These could be like free game websites. Uh, I know little kids tend to fall, fall for this. There's a new V Bucks scam going around. I know. Because uh, smaller kids are usually into that kind of stuff. Um, it's really easy for them to fall in uh, to kind of these traps that the website slay for you. So any website that's really too good to be true, uh, don't uh, just try to recall if you visited any of those sites lately. Like again, I've said, these could be free game websites. These could be torrent websites, um, pirating websites. These are really key sites for malware that just lurk around and waiting for you to click on that URL, bring you to the site, and then load all of this uh, bloatware onto your phone, all of this malware, that will just completely mess up your phone. So make sure that you haven't, if you, or, or if you have, make sure that you identify that website so you can go into Google, go into your downloads, and see if it's downloaded anything suspicious uh, onto your phone. You can also do this by going into your file manager uh, or your download sections, which I will get into a little bit. Um, so if you're not getting any of these and you're still having issues on your phone, you want to check your application lists and settings. So you want to scroll down, at least for me, hit your settings, applications, or just apps, I think it is for me. So just wait for this to load. And you're going to want to look in this list for applications that you have not downloaded or applications that you do not want on your phone. Now, the trick that they'll try to pull on you here at this step, um, actually, uh, is that they will oftentimes be at the very bottom of the list. Uh, oftentimes, these files will have no file name or file image, uh, which kind of makes it seem invisible. So you want to go all the way down, and if there's still a space, at the, if there's still space at the bottom, you want to check that to make sure that there is not an application there. If there is, however, and it is an invisible application. Uh, you want to go into it, let's just use YouTube Studio for example. You'd want to hit for stop to make sure it stops all of its processes and then hit uninstall. Now if this is not letting you do this, if it's grayed out and you can't access it, you're going to want to go to administrator settings, phone administrators, and you want to look for that application, um, uh, you want to look for that application in your administration. Uh, in your administrator's uh, section of your settings. 
Uh, this will allow the application to gain full control over your phone. I've got Find My Device on because it needs to have access to GPS, uh, GPS at all times. Um, so I'm allowing that. Uh, but if it is, make sure that you swipe it off. And this should open up uh, for you to click uh, for stop and then uninstall. So that should solve your problem. If it does not, however, you can go into step four, which is entering safe mode. So entering safe mode should be pretty easy, uh, at least for me. You need to hold down the power button until you see your power off uh, options. For me, I'm holding down power off, uh, and then you will see safe mode options. Now, to enter safe mode, this may be different from my phone to yours. So you may need to go onto the internet um, and look up how to enter safe mode on X phone on, or whatever phone you have. Uh, so the description is to turn on safe mode, your phone will restart and certain apps will be unavailable. By certain apps, it means third party apps. So any apps that you've uninstalled, any files that you've uninstalled, that you've installed, I'm sorry, uh, will be turned off. So when you restart into face mode, uh, all the apps you've installed will be grayed out. And if your problem stops, you know that it's been, that it's an application that's causing the issue. Um, and in that case, you'd need to go into settings and go look for that application. Uh, that has no name on it. Uh, for some reason, if you still get this problem in safe mode, which is very rare actually, safe mode should be shutting off the malware, but if you still get it, um, you're still getting these issues, you're still getting pop-ups, you're still getting messages, apps are still opening, you need to do a full factory reset. You can do this by entering settings, and then factory reset. And I'm not, I'm not gonna touch it just for the safety of my own phone, but this will basically wipe everything off your phone, um, except for the very basic apps like Google, uh, your camera, of course. Uh, but you need to do this if you are still having issues after you're going into safe mode. Um, like I said, this will basically wipe all the applications off your phone and will refresh your phone uh, like you just got it from your cell phone provider. Uh, and this should fix your problem, definitely. Um, so if you're, if you're at your last resort here, factory reset is where to go. Um, but if you don't want to do a factory reset, um, you can leave me a comment down in the description. I might be able to find another way for you to get around it without factory resetting. But it's actually not that bad in retrospect, actually, because if you have Google Play services, uh, like I have here, uh, you should be able to go back into your Google account and re-download re all the apps that you've had recently. And I believe if you have like Google Play services uh, like for like the games and stuff, you should be able to have all your game data. Um, so you shouldn't, you, you shouldn't lose it. And if you do, I'm sure you can contact Google uh, to get all your information back. Uh, so that's really it for today, guys. Uh, in summary, look for, in step one, you need to look for the signs. Uh, so look for pop-ups, look for messages, uh, identify for step two, identify if you've visited any risky sites. From there, if you do, you need to go to Google and then go into your downloads uh, and look for any downloads that, it, that the website might have put on your browser. Uh, then from there, go to your applications for step three. Look for any apps that may be at the bottom of that app page uh, or have no name or file image. Step four is to enter safe mode, like I showed you guys how to do, but you, you might need to uh, look it up, how to enter it on your own device. Uh, and step five, the very last resort, is a factory reset. Um, yep, so that sums it up for today, guys. If you do, like I said, have any more questions, if you are on iPhone, make sure to comment down in the description, and I should be able to find a way to actually help you guys out. Uh, I do try to get to most of my comments uh, relatively quickly. Uh, and if you get, if this did, if this video did help you guys identify what a virus is, and if your phone actually does have a virus, make sure to subscribe. We're actually getting very close to a thousand subscribers, which I'm very excited about. Make sure to share this video around if your friends are having any trouble with this themselves. And have a great rest of your day. Hope you guys stay safe. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day.